slang when someone's having a bad day, it's known as a Barry Crocker, as in you're having a shocker. Well, someone having anything but a Barry Crocker is the one and only Barry Crocker, who is sitting atop the UK charts with his recording of The Neighbours Theme. The song written by Tony Hatch and Jackie Trent was recorded by Barry for the premiere of the show way back in 1986. And all these years later, it's finally made it to the top. I spoke to Barry on the phone to find out just how it feels to be top of the pops. Neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours. How does it feel to be number one on the UK iTunes chart with the original Neighbours thing? Expect the unexpected and it certainly was unexpected. Thank you. No, it's a, it, a great joy and a, a total surprise. It's been the result of a campaign by Neighbours fans and they were very specific that they wanted the Barry Crocker version of the theme song to go to number one to show how passionate they are about the show. That's good. I mean, the, to be up there with Adele and Ed Sheeran, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's, uh, uh, to use an English expression, I, I'm gobsmacked. I was watching uh, the Brit Awards the other night and uh, switching across the Olympics whenever the hip-hop or the grunge would come on, uh, never realising that I would be amongst that lot. You know, I mean, the, 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 the stars of today, I've got great-grandchildren who are older, you know, it's, it's amazing. Well, the thing is that Adele and Ed Sheeran, who you've knocked off the number one spot, are both huge Neighbours fans. And so I don't think they'd mind a bit ceding the number one spot to a legend such as yourself. It's nice to know that they they know my name now. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Barry, how many number ones have you had before? Uh, none, except in Canada with Susie Darling. I had a number one uh, in Australia, not being a pop star, but, but I uh, had a couple of songs that went up to number seven and uh, five, I think, and that's as high as I ever got. And uh, So, you know, it's, it's, it's quite nice to have a number one in England, you know, that's... Uh, Terrific. In my eyes. As you're probably aware, Neighbours is, um, uh, the future of Neighbours is under a cloud. It's going to cease being played by its UK Channel 5 and, and that might mean it's going to finish up here. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I, I don't know. I just This could be the little song that saved Neighbours. I mean, they're going, someone's going to say, wait a second, we've got a lot of fans out there, you know, and uh, it could be a cash cow for, for another a network to take it over. So I'm, I'm confident that, uh, that Neighbours will continue. I, I just got that feeling. What does it mean to you to have this? At, can, I, can I say your age? Can I say at the, at the young age of 86? 86, yeah. I mean, uh, I could be, I, I guess, the oldest bloke. To, uh, to be a number one, I'm not sure. I, uh, I think it was mentioned earlier that uh, that uh, Vera Lynn was a hundred or something, and she had a number one. But uh, I'm the bloke, and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> That's when good neighbours become good friends. In fact, Barry is not the oldest bloke to make it to number one in the UK. Remember Captain Sir Tom Moore, who raised money for frontline medical staff by walking up and down his backyard? He recorded You'll Never Walk Alone with Michael Ball and it went all the way to number one when he was 99. But Barry is the next oldest.